ground orchids so walang fertilizer yan just giving flower like once a year so my yellow color I had this plant for like five years now and I'm thinking about moving this on the ground but still I still have a second thought about doing that because I'm still enjoying them in the pot are my garden so i have my fire stick here that changes colors it changes colors three times a year green yellow orange and these are my succulents here so this is from my backyards and i have strawberries it has flowers already and one in here has fruits but it didn't make it maybe this is not the right soil for this kind of thing because it didn't work my jade plants succulents easy to care just water them like once a week I made this uh, plants from my old griller. Look at that. <laughs> it's actually it's an old griller, so we don't use it anymore. So I planted some succulents there. Put them all together in one container. And here's my other succulents, uh, cactus. So I made this from Powell's. And I put cements on it and then I put colors. This is an old beach towel. Look. <laughs> you can still you can still see the the grind the grinds. Okay, another jade. There's another Ichiberia. It's so big. I just leave them like that so another towel project here color it black so it's just a lot of work because you have to put cements and then you have to paint it and this is also from an old griller so I use everything that I can reuse I don't throw them away. I have another group of cactus here. So the good thing about cactus and succulents is just after you plant, you just leave them like that and then water once a week. And they become variegated because they don't have enough uh, water. Because if you tend to put a lot of water here, this will turn into green that's the variegation purpose kiwi mostly my plants are succulents and cactus uh, sometimes I'm also uh, buying some plants like this but not a lot because these are so expensive it cost me like uh, uh, rubber plant brown and I have another yellow colors there so this I bought this for this mall for five dollars and this is like three years old so. another two kinds of succulents here so this one is exposed this one. I just like looking at them. It's just, you know, I'm so impressed with the colors. Uh, okay, this is my uh, yellow rubber plant. It was small when I bought it. It's only 
like five dollars when I bought it very small so it's like almost a year now and these are my tiny arranged uh, succulents sometimes I like to buy uh, a special pots for them and just arrange them like that just tiny ones so windy today and cold so I have another group of succulents okay, okay let me show you we have like maybe five varieties of jade plants so my bonsai my glomeria bonsai like the uh, kalachuchi another here so i don't know what this kind of plant i just bought it from the store and then they say it grows like a tree so i like this kiwi because they also change colors from green to yellow and pink and red and this is my favorite babies the sunburst Echeveria sunburst I love them I always make sure that I have um, I replanted the, the big new babies like that one then uh, three months from now that's gonna be like this they grow very fast it's maybe because the weather here in California is uh, that fits for growing uh, succulents and uh, I have my uh, new bulbs coming out. Maybe it should be ready by next week. Uh, I forgot the name of this plant. So I have this uh, thousand bird rubber tree that I uh, <clears throat> cut from that mother plant. So I have two of them. So this, this comes from the mother plant. So this is like one year old. And this is like less than a year. And I also started a new one. My Sanadu plants that I bought, uh, I remember like a year ago. I bought this for $20, but it's, it's small. It's small. Now it's like two times bigger since I bought it. to Wendy so this is my backyard and this is my amaryllis it's like an annual flower they only give flowers once a year but once they bloom, they're so pretty.